I just finished making myself breakfast, but before I put all the ingredients away, I just wanted to show you exactly what I bought. I got this Applewood smoked bacon from Whole Foods, and it has no antibiotics, um, no added growth stimulants, always vegetarian fed. It's a really good bacon. And then I also bought these hash browns. Um, they're shredded, no salt added. And I got this jam. My mom used to buy this for us growing up, and it's a really good raspberry jam. They have a couple other flavors too, but I just especially like this one. I've just been loving bagels with jam on them, so wanted to show you guys that and then also this orange juice which you guys have probably seen other people post about because that's how I saw it online but it's this Uncle Matt's organic orange juice and it's so good you guys the reason it's so good is because it's only made with one ingredient um, organic orange juice so I would definitely recommend trying this out if you really like orange juice. Here's the full breakfast. I did two pieces of bacon, a fried egg, hash browns, the bagel with jam, and some orange juice. I've just been really into doing like a full brunch lately. I am obsessed with breakfast foods and I've just been really liking making a whole breakfast. So this is what we're having today. But I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to use this candle. Um, I just wanted to say welcome back to another vlog. I am going to be decorating for Christmas today, which I'm so excited about. I've been wearing my Christmas pajamas a lot lately just because I'm getting into the holiday spirit, but I actually have a really busy month in December and I haven't really talked about this yet, but I am going to be doing Vlogmas and if you guys don't know what Vlogmas is, you post a video in December on the 1st through the 25th so you upload like 25 vlogs and I am not committing to 25 vlogs yet I just want to say that because this will be my first vlogmas and I don't know if it will be too much for me or not but I at least want to do 12 days of Christmas so uploading vlog every day for 12 days so just bear with me while I try it out and see how it is because I'm kind of nervous not that I'm like doubting myself but I just know that it can be a lot so I'm gonna try my best to upload as many vlogs as I can in December but I have a really busy month and so I just don't know how it will be with traveling but I will be going to Seattle and then I'm going to be going to Arizona and I'm going to be going to Florida so I just have like so much traveling that I'm doing that month so I've just been like trying to book all my flights these past couple days and just get prepared for that I've been ordering Christmas presents for people because I know I'm going to be gone but so I am very excited for December I think it's going to be a super fun month and I'm gonna get to see like my family I'm gonna see Lauren and so yeah it'll just be crazy but I hope you guys will um, tag along for the vlogmas that I do so today we're going to decorate for Christmas even though I'm not gonna be here that much I will have some days here so I want to at least just like um, have my place decorated for the days that I am here we're gonna run over to Crate and Barrel and Target. I did get some of my Christmas stuff out. You can see my little Christmas tree like peeking out back there. Um, so I could see like what I have, but then we're gonna go pick out a couple other things and we'll be able to decorate my whole place. But I'm very excited. So we're gonna have some good, well, I'm gonna have this good breakfast. And if it's morning for you, you should definitely make yourself a good brunch and start off the day like this. It's so nice. Okay, I got all of my stuff out. I kind of can't remember everything that I got last year, so we're just going to quickly look through this. Oh yeah, this is so cute, my little truck. And then these right here are the candles. So we'll put those out. Last year, I remember I was like, I don't really wanna buy Christmas stuff because you only use it once a year and it's expensive. But now I'm like, wait, it's kind of fun getting new things every year because then you get like a collection and you can just keep adding to it. So I'm like, wait, I actually wanna get some new stuff now this year so I'll have it for next year 
I think these are my reindeer. Yeah. Okay, so... I mentioned this in another vlog when I was at Crate and Barrel, which I want to get today, is like some dish towels and like a couple other little things. These are all like my wreath and pine cones and stuff. So I'm just going to leave it honestly all like this. We're going to go to the store, um, see what there is, and then I can like decorate everything all at one time. So here is like everything all laid out. And we'll be able to like unpackage it all and stuff when we get home. But look how cute this little truck is. I literally love this. I had said that I was going to like decorate everything first like in another vlog but I'm honestly just like so excited to go pick out a few new things that I just want to go look now and like get that done while it's like daytime. It gets dark so early here now like literally it's like four o'clock and it already starts getting dark out which is so annoying. <laughs> So I just want to go while I have like daytime and see what I can find. Here's my vacuum that I have charging. But you guys, this is the best vacuum. I definitely recommend it. It would be such a good gift to give someone. Like if you want to do a splurge gift or if you are wanting a good vacuum, it's the Dyson V8 Animal and you could ask for it for a gift. But definitely use that all the time. So... Just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, we are headed out and it'll be so fun to get some new Christmas stuff. They have the cutest glasses. They're the double old-fashioned glass, but these ones are little Santas. Then they have candy canes, and I think I like the snowmen the best, but I just feel like they're such nice glasses. They're really good quality. They're $10 each, which is kind of expensive, but I do think that they are super cute. at Target now. I got so many good things at Crate and Barrel that I feel like I don't really need to get a lot here, but I still wanted to come and like see their holiday decor. And they have some cute stuff for sure. I think I want to get these wooden trees. They're not too expensive. This one is $20 and then this one is $15, but I think one taller one and one shorter one would look really cute together. So I'm going to pick these up. Target has a lot of good wrapping paper and it's not super expensive. You can get three rolls for $12, but like this one is really cute with the cars on it. And then this one right here with like the snowflakes. And then they also have some like plain ones, plain red. And they have some green ones, but yeah, just like so many um, cute papers to choose from. I'm back home. I got so many good things, you guys. Probably too many things, but I can't wait to show you everything that I got, and then we'll do a little Christmas decorating. And since we're on the topic of Christmas, I did want to tell you guys about a really thoughtful gift that you can give to someone for the holidays, and I want to thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. They put together a really meaningful book that you can give to someone, and this is the one that I have for my mom right here. There is a picture of us on the front of it. It's a hard copy book, but basically what StoryWorth does is it's an online thing. They send an email every single week to the loved one of your choice with different questions. It'll be things like, what's the bravest thing you've ever done? Or if you could see into the future, what would you want to find out? And it's probably like questions that you don't actually know um, the answers to about that person. So it's really fun because you get to learn about them. 
and then at the end of the year they will put the whole book together they'll send it hard copy and it does ship for free um it's super fast delivered and it's just like really heartfelt but i just love that you get to um cherish this book for years you can give it to um, multiple family members or um you can pass it down to different generations like over the years like if you do it with your grandparents or something and then um you want to pass it along i feel like that's like super sweet to do so it's just like a nice gift that you can give to someone um but with story worth you basically are um giving someone just like a really heartfelt gift and you're preserving their stories for years to come so i really love that about it but you guys can go to storyworth.com slash baby hey and save ten dollars on your first purchase but again thank you so much story worth for sponsoring this video i really love this um book idea with the fact that it has all the stories and different photos in it and um just how meaningful it is so i really appreciate you guys working with me starting out with crate and barrel i got these dish towels i loved how they had some contrast to them like with getting red and green i don't have a lot of red in my apartment so i just wanted a little touch of red um but i liked that they were different materials too um so i got both packs of those and then I got these reindeer which I showed last time I went there they only had one left of this size so I felt like it was meant to be for me to get both of them but super cute and um, I know I'll be able to use these like every year and then I also got these bells that are all linked together so this I can put on the door handle and then I also picked up these glasses which I love I ended up just going for two of the same snowmen ones but the candy cane and the Santa ones were really cute too I just like these ones the best and then I also got these coasters. I was debating between these square slate coasters and then the circle marble snowflake ones. I got these because I can use them year round and I really like how it has like some brown tones in them. But the other ones were really pretty as well. So I will link both of them for you guys. I'll link everything. And then I also got these candles. They are just like three mini pine cone candles, which I thought were a cute size, so I got those. And then I went over to Target, I picked up these wooden like trees, I think that these would be just like cute decor. And then I saw these bowls, which I really liked. I accidentally dropped and cracked one of my glass little bowls, so I only have three now. Um, and I just thought it would be nice to get some holiday ones. And then I also got these from the Wonder Shop just to gift tag my presents that I wrap. And then I got some wrapping paper. And then I also got this lighter. I need to charge my electric one because it's been dead for so long and my other one is out. So I got that. But this is everything that I picked up. So many cute, fun Christmas things. So I'll have it all linked for you guys. Um, but now we can just like start decorating and putting everything out. I have so many little things like these candle trees, wooden trees, different reindeer, the zinc reindeer, wooden reindeer, and then all these houses. So I have like a lot of little knickknacks. It looks so obnoxious right now with how many I have, but I feel like it'll be cute once I like set it all out. So I'm going to get to decorating all of it, but I'm kind of like overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't even know where to put all these things.
kind of think I want to do that again this year and do it on this mirror. But I also have these candles still, and I think this year I want to put them inside of the lanterns. I feel like this would look really cute. Since I have like one big one, I feel like that could go in here, and then I could just do both of the smaller ones in here. super cute just a little different getting the garland over the mirror last year was honestly such a struggle so we'll see how this goes but it did look really cute i kind of wonder if i should switch it and put that other mirror back in here but it might look like cute with the gold so i at least just want to try it You getting it to stay, this is the hard part. This one pine cone is like... The last thing I need to put lights on is this little tree. And I'm still debating on if I want to get a big tree or not. I feel like it's hard because I'm really not going to be here that much in December. Like, I am gone every single week. So I feel like it almost doesn't make sense to get an entire like tree when I'm not really here. Oh, that's not bad. I thought I wasn't going to be able to reach the lights. Hmm. I kind of like that actually. I just need to cover this cord a little better. I got all of the Christmas decor up. It looks so cute. And if you guys have any suggestions for any changes or anything, you guys can comment those down below. But I don't think I showed you what I did to the kitchen. So I want to show you guys that now. Um, I ended up putting the little truck in here. And I really like the truck with the cutting boards. I feel like that is super cute. And then I just put um, the towels on the oven and on my dishwasher. I did them exactly the same. And then for this little tray, I totally forgot that I bought these pine cone candles. So I added these on here and I love the look of those with these wooden trees. I didn't even think to put them together like when I was buying them, but they look so good. And then I just left my candle snuffer and wick trimmer out. I have different candles that I like to actually burn. So I'll just take those out of drawers when I want to use them. This is how it looks with um, the mirror and then candles in the lanterns and then the little tree still love to get maybe some holiday pillows change that one out and maybe get like a holiday blanket or something maybe a touch of like red or green would look good but coffee table looks so cute with the little reindeer on the book and then this bowl with the pine cones the bells and my new um coasters and then over here i just put the little bells on the door and then tv stand i ended up putting um these candles and the candle holders back here because i felt like that looks very christmasy but super cute with the new little reindeer and then i put this wreath up on the door in my room the reason i didn't do it on the door to my apartment is because it makes the door really hard to shut and I feel like it doesn't close all the way, which like really freaks me out. So I'm going to leave it inside for now. And then I just, this isn't Christmassy, but I put my pompous grass with the vase in here. This little candle, which I think is cute. And then I put these little houses on the nightstand. I just had a couple left over, so I figured the white ones would look good in here. And then the last thing to show you guys is this candle right here. Brandon's mom got it for me from Anthropology. I haven't burned it yet because I actually just got it yesterday. But it looks so pretty. So that is all of the decor. I still really love my new prints that I got. If you guys missed that video, I changed them out. And I really like the way that those look. 
that is all of my Christmas decor. I hope you guys liked the decorating. I feel like I have so much more Christmas decor than regular decor. So whenever I decorate for Christmas, it always like looks so much better. I need to be like buying regular decor soon, but I just love all the holiday stuff. It's 6.25 right now, and Brandon and I are actually gonna be going to a movie tonight. We haven't been to a movie in a while, but he asked me if I wanted to go to a movie tonight, and he was um, asking if there was anything I wanted to see, and then I went on Fandango, and I totally remembered that I wanted to see House of Gucci. We saw the preview for it at the last movie we were at, and I actually thought that it looked pretty good. So I'm excited to go see that movie. It's more like my kind of movie. A lot of the movies that we see are like all guns and shooting and... They're definitely more Brandon's kind of movies, which I'm happy because I just want to spend time together. But it's nice that we're going to be going to a movie that I'm like super excited about. So that is the plan. We're going to leave at 7. Um, so like 30 minutes, but it's like a perfect amount of time because I can make something to eat and like freshen up and then go to the movie. So yeah, I'm glad I got all my Christmas decor up. It looks so cute. I don't know what I'm going to eat yet. I want to know what Brandon just said to me. That he's taking his sheep to the movies. <laughs> my little sheep to the movies. <laughs> I was wearing my leather jacket and I almost wore that, but I wanted to wear this one because it's so much cozier. Way comfier. Way to sleep on. Yeah, in the movie, right? So much better. Diet ginger ale? Dear God, it's so good. You like it? So good. You're gonna get that one? Oh. It's just gluten free, dairy free. <laughs> For everybody asking. No, it's sugar free. Calorie free. It's the only thing you can drink besides water. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, it's enough. Yeah, I think it's enough. I'm sitting in handicap. There was like no seats available. Not one seat. You guys, we actually liked the <laughs> Every movie we go to, I swear we're like, oh, we didn't like it. But this movie was actually super good. It's pretty good. I liked it. It was dragged on for a little bit. Like, it was a little long. But overall, great movie. So if you want to see it, I would recommend. Haley loved that. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and besides the end. Okay, I can't tell you guys how the movie actually was. I almost said it, but it was a great movie. It was a good movie. Definitely a good movie. But um, now it's 10.40 p.m. And I'm going to close out this vlog here because it's late and there's nothing left to show you guys. So, I know this clip is like very dark, but... Thanks, babe. That's wow. much better. This is a film door. Whoa. Maybe I should restart it. Redo it. Redo, redo it. the whole thing. Guys, <laughs> really like the, the, as I said, video. <laughs> the video. The video. We love the movie. It was a very good Are movie. Are you actually redoing this? Well, you just turn the lights on. No. Come on. Okay, we're closing out the vlog here. I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And also subscribe to my channel if Hit you are not subscribed. Hit the like button. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.